Here is another off-stated discriminating factor that purportedly defines the difference between the East Coast sound and the West Coast sound. Bukla is additive. We talked about, in the Moog is subtractive video, we talked about what constitutes additive synthesis. Additive synthesis is not a, a synthesis where harmonics are added. That is an incomplete portrayal of what is called additive synthesis. Additive synthesis is the process where you specifically add harmonics with synthesis intent. But simply adding harmonics is not enough. Additive synthesis is where you make harmonic choices and partial choices with the intention of forming specific outcomes. It's not just, he, uh, here's a harmonic, here's a harmonic, or here's something that's adding a lot of harmonics. That's not additive synthesis, even though it is adding harmonics. Now, as we know, uh, Don Buchla really spearheaded the creation of the wave folder as a synthesis function, which is super cool. And certainly with a wave folder, you can take a sine wave and then <laughs> you can take the sine wave, which has no harmonics, and make it into something that's bursting with harmonics. We all love the wave folder sound. And certainly by folding the top of a wave over, you get a much more complex waveform that has way more harmonics in it. And as such, by doing this process, you are adding harmonics. But the way that you're adding harmonics is just a block sum of harmonics. You're just pouring a big bunch of harmonics on top of the sound. You're creating, you're going from a sine wave to a waveform that has a lot of harmonics. That in itself is not indicative of additive synthesis, even if it is a process that adds harmonics. It's just adding a bunch of harmonics, which we can say is an additive process, but we can't say this is an additive synthesis. So in regard to comparing Buchla against Moog and saying Moog is subtractive and Buchla is additive, there are, first of all, the problem is that it's not additive synthesis, it's merely the addition of harmonics, which Moog already does. So unless you're talking about additive synthesis, which would be incorrect, uh, you're still just talking about a thing that both of them do. Now, I think the important distinction here is that Buchla employs wave folders and Moog, especially back then, did not. And unless there's wave folding going on on some new Moog since that I'm not up on. Uh, yeah, wave folding is, is very unique to Buchla. Wave folding is... You know, Buchla really brought that into the world of synthesis. So you might be able to say, well, Buchla has wave folding and had wave folding, at least in the 70s. But we'll get to that comparison and the problem with that very soon. But uh, so, yeah, if you wanted to say that Buchla is not entirely focused on a subtractive paradigm, I could see that. Uh, Buchla employs wave folding. That is a reasonable distinction. But the notion that Buchla is additive, as in additive synthesis, is misleading. Although there have been Buchla modules that specifically address additive possibilities, which is cool. But I mean, like I said with the Mo, I mean, you could, you could also do uh, similar things through your use of... Moog modules, even though there, to my knowledge, there was never a Moog specifically additive module, which is too bad. I guess vocoding, eh, at least not a, a, a model that was mass produced. Anyway, so yes, Buchla does in some ways get away from the 
subtractive model in the sense that, especially in some of the digital modules, like the modern modules, absolutely, and some of the 200 series modules, absolutely. But to characterize the entirety of Buchla as additive synthesis would be completely inaccurate. Suggesting that Buchla employs more additive, additive, the, you know, lowercase a, additive outcomes might be sustainable, but it's not additive versus subtractive because those are synthesis styles, not outcomes. So if you say Buchla is additive, Moog is subtractive, what you mean is synthesis wise. You have to, because if you're just talking about uses filters, uh, yeah, we'll talk about that in regard to Buchla. But yeah, so Buchla, while there, there was an additive module and uh, Buchla, you know, brought about wave folding in synthesis, uh, definitely situations where adding harmonics was more of a focus. But to characterize the entirety of the thing as versus subtractive additive is inaccurate. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.